Hi, my name is Patrick Dark. Uh, we're at Expo East 2021, and I'm here to show you my 2020 Toyota Tundra with a four-wheel camper installed with a lot of accessories. So at the front here, we have a C4 bumper. The, uh, the truck's surrounded by C4 equipment, which are the front and rear bumper and sliders, mounted with some rigid lights. We have some Baja uh, design lights. We have a worn 12K winch. We have um, you know, the standard ultra hook from Factor 55, front hitch mount because I do a lot of surf fishing. Uh, up on top of the bumper, we have two antennas, both for ham radio and backup on FRS. Uh, have a GoPro mount. Also up front, we I have a stainless steel air chuck that's connected to an R dual compressor. Uh, also on a Schrader mount, depending on which hoses I have set up at the time. Been on here for about a year, and you see they're good as new. If you come in here, you'll see that there's um, Kings with 800 pound spring rates and Camberg upper control arms. Uh, standard offset uh, for. The tires, uh, running Yokohama tires in a 295, no rubbing issues, no other problems there, but it's pretty much a basic setup for what King does. For alley lights, you can also see we have a little mascot and a Vader Buddha. So coming up to the top, you'll see I have Zarge's uh, dry boxes. Zarge's was great this week because they actually came, checked out my, my experience with them and I did have a leaky one and they replaced it on the spot. So that's a nice feature coming here to the show. They're mounted in a stainless steel rack that I welded, mounted to the Prinsu with some Baja lights, both on the front, but in the handles. So we get some nice ground lighting. So on the four wheel camper, there's a Fiamma F45 S awning, which comes out. I also have a Dragonfly tarp that attaches to it to give you more ground and shade cover. Coming back here, you'll see on the four wheel camper jack mounts, I mounted some 8020 in various dimensions to carry a gazelle rack, the max tracks coming back. You ha I have a crazy beaver shovel. That's just helpful when we're out boondocking. It's pretty nice. So we have Blue Ridge Overland gear, rear trash bag, one of the large ones, fantastic. I like it because uh, it's UV resistant and really lasts well. This is an entire rigged seat uh, set up for the swing arm, for spare tire, propane, some extra bungees that I keep in here, which always pop out and then a rig table that goes with it. So it's very nice. Moving to the back bumper, we have another C4 bumper with additional rear lighting that's controlled from the front. Coming inside, on the left-hand side on the galley, we have a Dometic three-way fridge, both AC, DC, and propane, small stainless sink, two burner cooktop, um, a furnace. Coming over here, you'll see the extra storage is standard but I added the Blue Ridge bags, the uh, four by 12s, not only here, but also in front of the bed. And they're color coded between myself, my wife and my son. So nobody can steal anybody's stuff. Looking at the bench behind it, we have a bunch of storage for seating. I went tighter with Helinox because it just makes it for a tighter install. May not be the most comfy on the ground, but it works well for storage and travel. Uh, keep some towels back here, other cleaning supplies, First aid kit, for, uh, fire extinguisher, just in case we need it. These are VLEDs, they're 800 lumens each. Turn signal on the brake lights, they're uh, VLEDs. They just came out for the Tundras. Adds a lot of safety in braking and turning. The back, this is where propane storage is. We have two 11 pound tanks, in addition to the one that's on the back of the rig. Uh, coming on this side, I have Mule Outfitters brackets for the Alucab 270. But that I mounted to 8020 again, as on the other side, so I can have adjustable height on my shower. So the shower is attached to one Allen screw on each side, so you can change your shower height. Um, coming over here, we have the back of the refrigerator, which is three-way, the furnace outlet, shore power, regular shower output, gray water drain, hot water heater, a fantastic paper towel holder. <laughs> and then moving into the back of the truck, I have a lot of Blue Ridge Overland gear that contains my all my park permits for up and down the East Coast, all my supplies for my dog, um, you know, various other fun things, air tools, uh, patches and wipes, and you can see you can keep everything nice and neat in here. Uh, this is a fire kit, and with it, it just adds a lot of storage to a Tundra, which traditionally does not have a lot of storage. 
um, going behind the passenger seat. This is where my kid usually sits, so there's some of his items. You know, it's usually tissues or, you know, power cables for his iPad. Uh, and the long silver packs are very long uh, glow sticks, which do a great job of illuminating at night when you have nothing else. You just throw them out, stick them in the ground, they, they work for about four hours. In here, I have the Blue Ridge Air Tool Bag. So I have hose not only on the outside, which is extra made from Flexilla, I made one on the inside with power tank with, that shows a gauge and it works super well. Looking at the front, you can see that there's a variety of equipment controls here. Uh, also a good place for storage of masks because you never know where you're gonna go, where you need a mask or not. So we have a RAM uh, charging phone holder, the new S-Pod metallic switch panel. Uh, next to a Icom 5100, which is um, a ham, so I have both 2 meter and 70 centimeter. So with the ham radio, um, there's a couple speaker options, either both on the base unit, which is underneath my seat, but to make it easier not have even more clutter up front when you turn my ham radio on, the speaker is actually over my left ear and a 67 designs clamp mount to the headrest and you can adjust the volume or squelch as, as you need to and it's right here in my left ear. So um, I can hear both while my wife's talking to me and I can still be a ham. And then the, the Garmin Overlander, which ha also happens to be side hacked for to support other applications because Garmin will allow you to do it even though they won't warranty it. And the, the Garmin in reach just because we go out pretty far and accidents happen. And on the right hand side is the worn wireless winch controller. I do have a clutchless um, winch so you can disengage it when you need to. You don't have to reach around or under the bumper. So this here is a WeBoost antenna. On the outside, there's a uh, high gain WeBoost 4 and 5G receiving antenna that boosts and redistributes the signal inside. So I get two or three bars better or some, or some cases some signal where there is none for others. So also down the footwell on the side of the center console, there's a ham radio mic mount and an inverter controller for a Renogy 2000 watt inverter for us during COVID and remote school. My kid like to travel with us and we hit a lot of the national parks while we're isolated. So it was a great, a great addition to the truck. All right, so this is where I have the Switch Bros come out from its mount from Super Duty headquarters, which is behind the headlight and grill and an S-Pod Bantam X mounted. Um, these terminal blocks are just eBay terminal blocks just give you a lot more distribution options and make it less of a rat's nest than it normally would. And going over on the other side of the engine bay, you'll see this where I have an ARB compressor mounted, which is produced by um, Tundra 964 out in Northern California. And he produces them in his garage and sells them online. So that's a quick wrap up of the tour of my uh, Tundra with a four wheel camper. And you can see the effective use of a lot of Blue Ridge Overland gear. And if you wanna follow me, just follow me at, at darkside.overland on Instagram. And you can see all the links from my profile in there.